the expenses, et cetera. Why is space exploration so important to you? Well, for me, there's a bunch of reasons. For, you know, I, but literally, since I was a kid, literally a kid here in Miami, I have been thinking that ultimately, if we want to keep growing our civilization and using more energy per person and so on and so on, we're eventually going to have to move all of our heavy industry off Earth. And, we, and, and, and that will happen. I know it sounds a little fantastical. Maybe it sounds like science fiction to some degree. But it, it will happen. I don't know how, how soon it will happen. It's a job that I won't finish. Probably my children's children won't finish. You know, this is something that multiple generations will work on. But it will happen. And, uh, you know, I just mentioned one of the first steps there is that, you know, we already put a lot of communications in space. We can start to build factories in space. We can start to build data centers in space. We will ultimately get the materials, not even from Earth, but get the materials from the moon and near-Earth objects and asteroids. We have unlimited energy in space and unlimited material resources in space. And this planet is so beautiful and so unusual this is the one that we're going to want to protect. There's no plan B. We have spent... We have spent Not yet, at least. We've sent robotic probes to every planet. This is the good one. <laughs> Listen, it, it, it sounds fantastical, but so did this conference to many people. Yes, a lot of things <laughs> that we have today sound fantastical. Go back in time 100 years and show somebody your iPhone. That's very fantastical. They'll freak out. So Amazon Blue Origin, two very different companies. Yeah. Talk to me about your mindset and how you sort of pivot.